All right, are we rolling here? Okay, so we are getting back to it with Sterling Sharp end to end. And this is a Super Nintendo football game, I think March of 1995. Game I rented as a kid. No licenses. But a actually really fun game from a run blocking perspective. So that's really what uh, has been most about right now. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm uh, going to be playing with somewhat of a delay here. We always go dime. I'm not sure what happened there. So here's the situation. Is basically, I would like to be doing like actual videos this weekend. I'd like to work on my... Uh, Top 100 video. And I'm working on something pretty fun about the N64. But most of my setup right now is actually over in the corner. I'm in the midst of redoing my game room, so I don't have the ability to stream most of the things I'd like to do. Fourth and two, we held him. I like to go dime here. Um, because if a receiver gets behind you, that's pretty much it. You are brown bread. So the reason I have a delay is because I can't play this on my TV and then have a separate, you know, have it split over where it's going at the same time to my PC. I've just got my PC monitor here, which is, you know, a TV. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Seems like I ran some kind of Scott Mitchell uh, keeper. Also should note here, um, I'm using a different controller setup than usual. I have an adapter that I'm trying out for the first time to see how it goes. using a different Super Nintendo controller than usual here. Running an adapter with an SNES Classic. I would have told you I hit B about 400 times there. So, Alright, we're stopped here too, and we're not only stopped, we're stopped in the shadow of our own goal line. Now, a thing I actually ran into a little bit ago, the last time I played Sterling Sharp, is that when you get tackled, uh, you, your ta count is tackled where you land, not where you're hit. That should have been a safety, right? So I'm here thinking, like, isn't there a double cover? But I'm, and I was looking for it, but I was thinking of Madden '96 on the Game Boy. <laughs> if uh, 
if you've hung around this channel for any length of time, that's unfortunate. Well, now I have an affinity for 1995 sports games. Specifically football ones. This is a good one, too. As is a Madden 96 on Game Boy. Pulls it off pretty well, having just two buttons. It's one of those games where it's on the Game Boy. If that was on NES, that's one of the better NES games. So when you think about when Super Nintendo opened up a little bit, your NES uh, football games pretty much like begin and end with Tecmo Bowl and Tecmo Super Bowl, and that's it. There are other football games. You don't want to play them. Super Nintendo got a little bit of extra help there. The Madden games start coming in, start existing and then coming into their own. Tecmo Super Bowl, Tecmo Super Bowl 3. I know there's a second one. I've never even seen it. But I hear there's a pretty cool three-year mode in it uh, where the the rosters change year by year. I would like to check that out sometime. Trying to get a running game established here. In theory, the Bucks should be pretty awful. Yeah, and that's what Barry Sanders will do for you in the course of a game of Sterling Sharp end to end. You can always pick eat ball, I guess, but I think we'll uh, try the field goal and pat. Yeah, my timing being off really affected me there. Oh boy. Now that seemed to do well in the run, so maybe I'm just bad at this video game. So we gave up the big play, forced a fumble, uh, and then they picked up the fumble and ran it into the end zone. So what we're really hoping for here is that we can basically force an interception. There are interceptions in this game. Uh, I think the last game had eight of them in a single game, like between both teams. Defenders seem to pick off anything thrown in their zip code. Thank you. And I don't think that makes it like necessarily, it's not like a, a game breaker or a deal breaker. What it is is like, with these older football games, you just need to know what you're getting into. Like, what are the rules? And for Sterling Sharp end-to-end, -end, that's one of the rules. So this was an interesting thing, and just kind of like, two things I noticed, uh, when I looked at the playoff screen before we started the game here. First, I was an away team last week. And then I am playing a team that had a bye, and now I'm the home team. So that obviously couldn't happen in the NFL. But then the other thing is that two teams from the same division in the uh, other bracket, the AFC bracket, both had buys, which that obviously can't happen either. 
I finally completed a pass. And a lot of games back then kind of had it set up so that, uh, I should go for two here, but I'm going to play it safe. They had it set up so that if a defender got behind you, like the defending player had like some catch-up speed, Sterling Sharp end-to-end -end doesn't do that, and that's one of the reasons why, like, the bomb is overpowered to the point of being the best play in the game. Aside from any run of Barry Sanders. There's a couple of things with this game that make it flawed. This is like a game that I think would be fun to rent. You couldn't have this as your best football game. And uh, I guess like what those are, first there's no real season mode, just a playoff mode. The offense is a bit overpowered, except for interceptions. This is not like a realistic football game. There are better ones for that on the Super Nintendo. There are more fun football games on the Super Nintendo. But like... I guess I would call this like number four on the system, which is not that bad kind of like the best of the rest category where I'd say Tecmo Super Bowl the original is the best one but I would understand if you said Tecmo Super Bowl 3 was and that's the second best one they're just very different games which is why I think you can even treat them differently after that I think you go Madden 97 introduces the free agency I think it'd be fair to fair to say, all right, but then Madden 96 and Madden 98 need to be above this too, which is probable. So that block of Madden games, we might have an injury here. All right. Yeah, those like Maddens from 96 to 98, put them next. And then Sterling Sharp's end end. So it's not the best football game on the system, but it's not pro quarterback either. Sometimes you need to not be pro quarterback. Ah, uh, shoot! I think I picked a passing play on accident. Had a commenter tell me I had guys open over the middle. You gotta be insane to throw it over the middle in this game. <laughs> See, I had B open pretty well too, and that could have been bad. Yeah, my uh, my actual advice is it's tempting to throw over the middle. I wouldn't do it. I appreciate the comment. You know, the reason I made a channel like this um, and stream primarily old football games is to talk about these with other people, like like-minded individuals. There's not a lot of people out there in real life that you can talk about Madden 96 and Tecmo Super Bowl 3 with, let alone Sterling Sharp end end. All right. Let's do it here, though. Let's try running play to get the two points. Nope.
So what I did with the punt return, I had that big return on, was I went about a second earlier than I thought I should. That's how I made the extra point the other time too. So we're having a little bit of a delay um, going through the capture card of the computer, but I'm not trying to play Battle Toads here. Green, 41, 34. We'll give up some yards. The big thing for us here is not giving up six. I cannot believe that wasn't picked. There's the six I didn't want to give up. Now here there's a Genesis game, uh, like NFL primetime football 96 or something as Deion Sanders as the, as like the, I guess, licensed athlete. So also from this year, the 95 season, so I really got to play it just for that alone. But I hear like you pick what team Dion's on. I mean, and I think... He was a free agent in the beginning of that season. Might have even been playing baseball for a while. Dion was really fun back in the day. Um, and still is, you know, fun now uh, over at, I want to say Jackson State. He's the head coach, right? They had a very good season. They're historically not a great team. He took them to the Celebration Bowl. Oh. And that clock, I swear, runs slower than anything in this game. So I probably had the first down and got knocked back about six yards. We're going to try halfback blast and see how going up the middle works. Handoff didn't happen. I think he ran through a guy. But so far, no turnovers in the entire half of Sterling Sharp end to end. Does that have anything to do with having thrown the ball twice? Well, you decide. Yeah. The offensive line work in this game is really superior uh, for 
really this time, um, the mid 90s, you had like a blob in Madden that people just bounced off of and it created a sound effect. You don't get that here. Um, it really is one on one battles. After enough time, you knock the offensive lineman over. It's. Ooh. I thought I was going offsides there. It's really good. And I think that's part of what makes running so good as well. Okay, that time they knocked over my guy. I do have an opportunity to really change this game here. Must have taken control of that player somehow. Green, 28, 16. See, had the first, got knocked back. I mean, now I'm afraid to run a like power handoff play. It seemed like. Something went wrong with that. Green, 35, 39. That was a good one. We're gonna try to swing pass here. Green, 21, 22. Hoot, hoot. Anytime you throw a pass in this game, it's not picked off. You, you, you gotta be happy with that. Okay. And maybe that's the way to go with uh, these conversions too. Green, 28, 44. In this case it was. Ran backwards. We're gonna play it at a half here and we're gonna cut it short until next time. I was wondering if they're gonna go for like I don't think there's a hurry up offense in this. I was wondering if they'd call a timeout, I guess. Seems like they wanna kill the clock here and 
head into the half down 13. All right. So that's what we did here today. And we will be back next time.